The stage was reached, wasn't it, in early March, around about the 10th and the 11th, that um, regardless of the science on asymptomatic transmission, that, that was the correct approach. You, you simply had to plan on the basis that it was. It is, it is not fair to say that the scientists knew uh, for sure about this by mid-March. Former Health Secretary Matt Hancock telling the COVID inquiry it's not fair to say the scientists knew about asymptomatic transmission for sure in mid-March 2020. We'll now listen to England's Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty answering questions from MPs on 5th of March 2020. There is a large iceberg of people who've got asymptomatic infection, so a very large number of people have been infected in Hubei without being detected. The reason we don't detect them is we do not currently have a test which can say, a serological test, which can say this person has been infected even though they never had symptoms. If the then Health Secretary had been listening to BBC Radio 4 on March 13th, 2020, he would have heard the government's Chief Scientific Advisor Patrick Vallance say this. It looks quite likely that there is, a, is some degree of asymptomatic transmission. Former Prime Minister Boris Johnson himself acknowledged in a press conference on 18th of March the problems the virus posed. The thing about this, this disease, it's an invisible enemy and we don't know who's transmitting it. So Johnson clearly knew at that time people without obvious symptoms might be amongst those transmitting the virus. Johnson directly commented on papers examining the issue at a COVID press conference on March 25th. Just Patrick, on the numbers of people who have the disease asymptomatically, there was a, a study I saw quoted of, uh, from some Oxford uh, academics saying that m as many as 50% may have had it uh, uh, asymptomatically, or uh, I think a lot of people would have seen that. Uh, that story. How do you how do you evaluate that at this at this stage? We, we simply don't know at the moment, and there that's why the antibody test is so important. So there are estimates that up to eighty percent or more of people in Wuhan weren't detected. There are estimates that of those who are positive, so that's a small percentage of the population who were tested positive. Quite a number of them were asymptomatic in a town in Italy. But it wasn't until 15th of April 2020 that the then Health Secretary introduced a policy to test care home patients before discharging them from hospital. Today we've strengthened the rules so that all care home residents who are discharged from hospital will be tested before being admitted into their care home. By that time, a staggering 25,000 people had already been discharged from hospital into care homes without being tested for coronavirus. 